Hey, what's up? Dude, why are you calling me so early? You woke me up. Yeah, I can help you. What about? Surprise? You woke me up this early and you're not going to tell me? Yeah, I know how to get to Napa Valley College. All right, see you in the parking lot. Oh, oh it was technical and there's a lot of variety to it. It paid really well. I could afford to travel so I could work wherever I wanted to go. What kind of work was it? I don't remember. You know how fast you can forget dreams, even good ones? Especially when you woke up right in the middle of one. <laughs> you might remember later, though. It'd really help if I could. I gotta do some more job hunting today. I still haven't found a career that I like. I gotta make some money somehow. I don't want to settle for some dead-end job, you know? Well, I know you really want something in a technical career. Yeah, I just don't want to be stuck behind a computer screen in a cubicle all day. I remember how much you liked technical theater in high school. Technical theater was cool, but just setting up lights and scenery wasn't enough for me. I liked helping put on a show, though. Well, there must be something else that's like that. In my dreams, I just haven't found a career that I like enough to spend all that time studying for it. Plus, I don't want to go to some four-year college and spend all that time and money just to get some lame degree that gets me nowhere I want. You've thought about the military. They have lots of electronics there. Yeah, I just don't want to join the military. You're right, though. They have a lot of great electronics. Their idea of technical theater is a bit different than mine, since they run theaters of war and not drama. Good thing you could help me with my project today. I will, I just can't spend all day at it. You don't even know what it is yet. That's because you wanted to surprise me. Relax, you said you helped me. I'll show you around, you'll see how much fun this is. This is a great program. Well, what do you study in this program? The technology used to create the shows we watch on TV. That sounds like fun. What's this program called? Broadcast Television Engineering Technology. Engineering Technology? Wait, what are you doing in the technical program? <laughs> you need my help all the time in math and science in high school. Well, they started me at a real basic level here. The first day of math class, I learned about natural numbers. Yeah, like one, two, three, four. That's right, and even I can start there on my own. And they went up from there until I learned enough math to understand the electronics I'll be working with later in the program. How come I've never heard of this program? Because this program is the only one like it in the United States and only one of few in the whole world. Yeah, but a lot of places teach how to make videos. What makes this one so special? It trains you in the technical side of television, giving you hands-on experience, maintaining and repairing electronic equipment that we use here in the studio. It takes a lot of electronics to create a TV show. Just look at all this stuff. Yeah, there must be enough here for a real TV studio. It is a fully equipped TV studio with professional grade cameras. Come on, I'll introduce you to some of the other students. This is Brandon and Ben. They're camera operators today. Tell my friend why in this program. Usually I'm in front of the camera, but today I am staying behind this one to hide from all my fans. You can tell he's just another frustrated actor. Brandon and I like to act and make videos, but we're not going to wait around while Hollywood notices our talents. Fortunately, there's a lot of tech work in video. So I can make money while I'm looking for creative opportunities. Unfortunately for Brandon here, he's not going to get very far with acting like that. This is Kathy. She's setting up audio today. She used to work on electronics in the Coast Guard and wanted a technical career after she left the Coast Guard. I got spoiled working with the military's advanced electronics. I needed something just as interesting. That's why I'm here. Television has a lot of advanced electronics of its own, especially now with digital TV. So I'll be here just out of high school. Many of us are. It's just there are also many students here are changing careers. It's a diverse group with diverse goals. Bob here is working on lighting. He's a software developer broadening his technical knowledge. Yeah, with what I learned here, I could write software for television stations. Actually, I, I might even uh, work at a television station since I'll be a certified broadcast technologist when I complete the program. So you have to be certified to do tech work at a TV station? Sure you do. <laughs> TV stations don't let just anybody work on their equipment. The Society of Broadcast Engineers accredits this program. Any student who maintains a B average in a program will earn a SBE broadcast technologist certification. Okay, so what do you study to get that certification? Well, first I learned production so I can take on any technical job here in the studio. And that's what we're all doing now. We're making a video about this program. Yeah, you really <laughs> pulled me into this thing. So what else do you learn? 
Well, I learned all the technical details about all the equipment in the studio, far beyond what most production school teaches. I learned enough electronics to diagnose and repair any piece of equipment in the studio, and even to design and build electronic equipment if I need to. I take apart professional level gear to learn how it works and how to fix it. And also, I learned how to use and administer computers and networks that are used in today's TV studios. And of course, I learned all the math and science I need to understand the technology that we do behind here. All right, don't understand that talking. Okay, okay, out, so. I'll do more of that before we watch the next scene being shot. Right now, they're positioning the cameras and checking sound. Camera four, start off with a medium close-up of Steve. Camera five, you'll start off with a medium shot of Steve on the left side of the frame in the easels with the charts on the right. Camera three, you'll be on extreme close-ups of the exhibit Steve will be holding in his hand. You'll also do the extreme close-up of the slate. Let's set up and do a practice run right here while the sound engineer sets up the microphones. While they set up, let's go check the control room. We'll watch them shooting from there. Well, this is our camera control unit station. This is where the camera engineer checks the quality of the video coming in from the cameras. The camera engineer monitors the overall video signal using this waveform monitor and checks color accuracy using this vector scope. There's also a bunch of other adjustments I won't tell you right now. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. They're actually just a bunch of dummy knobs to impress visitors like you. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, anyway, this is our audio mixer. Here we can s mix in studio, microphone, CD player output, and sound from video sources. Just like they have in the music studios. Yeah, well, you know what? Let's go check the server room, and then you'll get a chance to see the rest of the control room. Well, this is our digital video server on which we record video and audio. It's like a big computer that acts like a bunch of tape recorders. Cool. So what's all this? Well, this is the rack of equipment we use to monitor and adjust video and audio before we record them. Dude, I'm amazed you learned how to use all this stuff. I don't even know what half this stuff is. Just more dummy knobs, huh? I knew nothing about all this equipment until I took the program. Now I use it just about every day. You know what, let's go back and see the rest of the control room.